At the start of any cast, back or forward, the angle between the rod tip and the line extending from it has a crucial effect upon the bending or loading of the rod. I have named this the critical angle. Depending on the cast to be made, the critical angle may be anywhere from 90 to 180 degrees. From a purely mechanical standpoint, 90 degrees is the least efficient, since the rod bend or load will be limited to the uppermost part of the rod, which may be adequate for shorter casts. The wider the critical angle, up to 180 degrees, the deeper the bend develops down into the rod, even clear into the grip for the longest casts, with no extra effort. The critical angle works in combination with acceleration, rotation, leverage, and hauling. Each of those items plays a role in loading the rod. Bringing the lower section of the rod into play when fighting large fish has been practiced for generations, but this thinking has seldom been noted when casting.